Welcome to the first theme Thursday of February. Strawberries are in season. So then the theme for this month has to be strawberries. So let's start with a dessert. It's a strawberry oatmeal crumble bar. Now I have already shared the recipe of an apple crumble in the month of December and many of you had tried it out and given me some awesome feedback. So let's try the similar thing with strawberries but we're going to cut it into bars. So let's quickly check out the recipe but before we do that don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel and please do share it with your friends and family too. To make the strawberry crumble, let's prepare the crumble mix first. So for this, I'm using rolled oats. And into this, let's add some whole wheat flour. So we are ditching the all-purpose flour and going whole wheat for this. Next goes in some brown sugar and some ginger powder. So the quantity of ginger powder is a personal choice. You can skip this or you can increase it as well if you prefer a higher punch of that gingery taste. Some chopped nuts. I'm using a mix of walnuts, almonds and cashews here. A pinch of salt to balance out all that sweet. And finally, to bring this all together, let's add some melted butter. So you mix and see and if you feel the crumble looks dry, you can add in some more melted butter. So the base and top for the crumble bars are ready. Let's now move on to the filling with strawberries. For the strawberry filling, I've already cut the strawberries into small pieces. Into this, let's add some sugar, some lemon juice and cornstarch. Mix this all well. Now the quantity of sugar and lemon juice can be adjusted as per the sweetness or sourness of the strawberries you have. To assemble this, I've taken a small size loaf tin. Into the base, let's first add the crumble mix. So we'll use only half for the base and remaining goes on top. Use a spoon and press it nicely and evenly at the base. Let's add all the strawberry filling that we've prepared on top of this now and spread it evenly. And finally on top goes the remaining crumble mix that we have. This again, press it firmly so that it is all even and smooth from top. These strawberry crumble bars can be had as is, but then if you prefer to dress it up a little, I prefer a vanilla glaze on it. For this, it's very simple to make, so while your crumble is baking, you can keep your vanilla glaze prepared and ready. I've taken some powdered sugar and into this, let's add some vanilla essence and some milk. Add the milk little by little because you need to adjust it to a pouring consistency. I like to make it a little thinner. Here you go. This is the consistency we are looking for. So you know it is done when the crumble is brown on top, it changes color, it looks done and if you have the strawberry pieces seen through it, those will all be bubbling. 